Some truisms in life. You can't change the past, you can't cheat death, and you can't unboil an egg. Oh wait, yeah, you actually sort of can unboil an egg. Boiling an egg seems like an irreversible transformation, like death. But before we go into the dark arts of unboiling eggs, let's shed some light on who came up with the crazy idea in the first place. Molecular chemists Gregory Weiss and Colin Raston boiled many an egg, all because they were on a quest to better study protein folding. A quick note on proteins. They're the workhorse of cells involved in almost all the processes going on in your body. Incorrectly folded chains of proteins are thought to be the cause of diseases like Alzheimer's and cancer. So the idea is that correcting the folding pattern can stop the disease. The egg, it turns out, is a clever stand-in for cancer-associated proteins that, when studied in the lab, can gunk up in test tubes and take days to weeks to unravel. And that's a problem since researchers are specifically studying the proteins folding patterns. That is what led Weiss and Raston to boil an egg for 20 minutes until it hardened. The proteins were still intact but had changed shape, which is similar to cancer-associated proteins. So now the task was to unboil the egg and return the proteins to their original shape. To do this, the egg white was placed in a solution of water and urea, which helped to coat and lubricate the proteins. Then the egg white took a wild five minute ride on a vortex fluid device, which spun it around at 5,000 rotations per minute. The force of which was enough to separate and stretch out the proteins until they returned to their original shape. And voila, the egg white was unboiled. Now, if only chemists could work on unscrambling an egg, portals to other worlds would open and we'd finally find out which came first, the chicken or the egg. Actually, the answer the answer is the egg, or rather, the chicken egg. For more answers to questions, check back here and subscribe to How Stuff Works Now. Well, now.